everyone, Mike Hendren here from News Talk 1290 and Town Square Media here in Wichita Falls, Texas. And with us today is Kendall Jones. All of you know Kendall. Uh, you, you've seen her on YouTube. You've seen her on Facebook. She's a Texas Tech Texas student. Texas Tech. Red Raider. I want to make sure I got that right. Yes, and cheerleader. And cheerleader. Yeah, yeah you are too, aren't you? And she's also a very avid hunter. Uh, she's been to, how, how long have you been hunting now? When did you start hunting? I started going with my dad whenever I was about seven or eight. I was going into third grade. Okay. You're in your early 20s now, right? Yes. Okay. Just now 20. Just now 20. Well, I'm about to turn 21. Okay. So. <laughs> All right. All right. And uh, over the years, you've hunted in some pretty exotic places in Africa. You've been all over the world, I guess. Africa is the main place that I've been, but I'm wanting to expand out and go to Spain and New Zealand yeah. and Alaska. Yeah, and I think you've talked a little bit about that on your, on your social media from yes. time to time about where you want to go. Yeah. But let's talk a little bit about your hunting experiences. Uh, I know there's been some controversies here in, in the last several months. You, you kind of have come under fire from some animal rights groups and other people about uh, some photographs that were posted to social media from one of your hunts in Africa, is that right? Yes, that's correct. Okay, and tell us a little bit about your hunting experience in Africa. How, did, how does all that work? Well, in Africa, you obviously you go with a safari group, and in that safari group, you have certified hunters, and they're called professional hunters, right. and they go out and they guide you, and they tell you which animal you're allowed to take. They, if you come into like a group of animals, they'll tell you which one you need to shoot, and they base it off of how old it is, the genetics they have, if they're a problem. So you take the one that's needed to be taken. Right. So these are all guided, licensed, legal, absolutely. Yes. 100 percent everything's legal right. you have to have permits and licenses and right. a lot of paperwork goes into it so it's not like you just fly over there land and then just start shooting animals right. like there's a lot more that goes into it it sounds like they they take a lot of pains go to a lot of trouble to make sure that the animals that you're shooting that it's there's a conservationist mindset yes working. absolutely yeah yeah with everything that um we hunt it's all conservation right now, what about hunting here in the States? I mean, what, what sort of uh, hunting do you get into here? Mainly deer um, or what? Yes, I have taken quite a few whitetail, and I love to go hog hunting. Those are such a nuisance, especially in Texas. Like, they tear up property like you haven't seen before. And I like to go coyote hunting and predator right. control. Right. And I really want to get into bird hunting. I've been dove hunting twice, but I haven't had quite the luck on that one. And then I've been duck hunting once, but I loved it, so I want to go back out. Now, I, I can see an episode of Duck Dynasty with you and the Robertsons <laughs> out together. And I just that would be great. a fake beard, right? <laughs> <laughs> no, 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 without no the beard. beard. <laughs> You'd be a lot better without the beard. Okay. What are your What are your future plans? Uh, where are you in college right now? What? I will be a junior, so okay. hopefully I have two years left. I'm double majoring, so that adds a few hours to it so I'm hoping to get done with it all in four years. What are your plans beyond college? After college if um, if I don't do a TV show which that's my plan maybe I don't know exactly if I want to do it it takes up a lot of time right. but so if I don't do that I definitely want to do something in the outdoors industry whether it be working for a company owning my own company just doing like endorsement deals going right. out and talking something like that. What, uh, what prompted you to take your hunting lifestyle to social media? Um, well, I actually planned to go over there for a show, to yeah. record a show, but that didn't really work out. And with that show came so much more. So I was like, eh, let's back up out of that. And now I'm where I am today. Right, right. And what do you see, what do you see your, uh, your hunting, uh, how do you see that progressing over the next few years? I mean, do you see that turning that into some sort of a, a business for yourself maybe? Yeah, absolutely. My dad has a ranch and he has game on that ranch and he has hunters uh, come out. And I also, if I do do a show, I can go out and do hunts hunt for a living I mean who wouldn't want to do that yeah, yeah the deer lease is in such it's a huge cash crop here in Texas yes now. it really has become that way yes yeah and if you could yourself if you had a message for anybody out there who's anti-hunting anti-gun mm. all this stuff what would you want to say to those folks I mean I don't go look at stuff that I don't like one why look at something you don't like why voice your opinion about it I mean no one cares and I probably don't know everything about it, but why should I bash someone that they love it? Right. So why, like their life doesn't 
matter to me. Like, so why bring someone else down with you? I mean, if I don't like it, I'm going to ignore it. I'm going to walk off and let them do their thing. It's right. their life, not mine. So well, and I think I've seen this on one of your t-shirts and I, I'm paraphrasing here. Maybe <laughs> I hunt, it's legal, get over it. Exactly. <laughs> like, simple as that. I mean, if I was going out and shooting everything I saw, okay. Yeah. Like that would be poaching, yeah. that would be illegal and yeah. I would be in jail. So yeah. Right, right. Yeah. And you do this with a conservationist mindset. I mean, really, in, in, in many respects, there's a, a population control aspect of hunting as well. Absolutely. And if I could explain conservation to all of them, I would. Right. But it's hard, and they don't want to hear it. If they wanted to hear it, they would look it up. Yeah. You know, it's simple. It's on the Internet. You can look it up, and okay. instead they send hate mail. Yes. Right behind the computer. Yeah. They get their little finger siphon. Yeah, it's really easy, really easy to do some things hiding behind an, an, the anonymity of the internet sometimes. Yeah, so, oh yeah, it's very easy. Well, listen, we appreciate you coming here this year for Deer Fest uh, 2015. We appreciate Don Thompson bringing you in. And uh, it's, been a, it's been a great day for it. been a very long day for you. <laughs> very no, long day. You've since about 5 this morning. Yes. So you've had a very long day, so we won't keep you any longer. But uh, any parting words for our viewers and listeners before we wrap this up? Um... Well, my goal is to especially get little kids out in the outdoors. Yes. Nowadays, all they do is stay inside. Technology has taken over. So my goal is to get those kids outside, especially the girls. They think it's a boy sport. Not the case. Right. Girls can do it just as well and can probably make it look better. So uh, well, for all you little girls out there, get out there, start hunting. It's a lot of fun. Yes. And I encourage you to do it. And I, and I think you're a great spokesperson for them. Well, thank you very much. I try my best. Kendall Jones, everyone. Thanks, Kendall, very much. Thank we appreciate you. having you here in Wichita Falls.